we are back in the van. I think this is number four video that I've done. Sorry about my sniffling, but it's cold out here. <laughs> uh, have to apologize for the mess that I got going on inside here. It's just a lot of pieces of parts everywhere that I need to get this done. And the little scrap wood, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to use a piece of that here and there. So it's just kind of in a pile for right now. I will show you the electrical that I've done so far and uh, some of the framing that's been done. <clears throat> Over there, I've got uh, and the location where the hammer is here. It's, this is all going to be a bench kind of thing right here. Uh, directly under here is going to be the battery, uh, 12 volt battery. Uh, that will run the lighting system in here and the fan that we're going to have and whatnot. So I've got uh, wires coming through behind there. I've taped them onto the back side of the board. Let's zoom in a little. Taped them onto the back side so when you're driving down the road they're not bounce, bounce, bounce and vibrate. Possibly wear a hole in the, in the wiring, which I don't want. Ran that up to one of the outlet boxes. Now these are home boxes. They probably make RV uh, electrical units, but I didn't buy that. I bought a home unit. What I had to do was, uh, you probably see it's on a little angle here. I just cut off to, to fit the angle that I needed for the, for the cover sheet that's gonna go on there. And I'm looking for what I did with the uh, test piece. Uh, hold on a second, I'll be right back with you. All right, this is going to be a, a light switch and so on. It's going to operate that one and then one just uh, down the line from it. So this side will run on its own. And then on that side, I'll have one there, one over there, which will run. It's going to get a cover on it like this. Uh, what I did was just got a solid plastic cover, cut the holes that I wanted in it. Uh, worked out pretty good, I think. I, I think I probably should have moved the center one over a little bit because of the wiring in the back here. It's kind of close. But what's going to happen is, let me try to clear this camera off a second. This switch on off is going to operate this little teeny light over here. But that little light gives off a whole lot of light, which is it's amazing. And then I have here is a 12 volt accessory plug that you can plug in your phone, a little 12 volt fan, anything that runs off a of 12 volt. They even have heaters that you can run off of this thing. So, it's, and the 12 volt will stay on while this is on or off. It's going to be wired live. The only thing that's going to be by that switch is the light. So, uh, this side, switch or light over there, it's going to have a, a light, a switch, and an accessory here. And then over here, it's going to have a, a switch only, which will run the light that's going to be above the portable commode. <coughs> It's gonna have a, an enclosure around that um, of a curtain, I think. And then I'm gonna have a, an additional accessory plug here. This one's kind of an addition that I did, so I gotta get a, a unit to put it in there. So that's where we're at right now. We're going to cover these walls, and I will come back with a little video on that to explain why I've done that. Thanks for watching again. A little at a time. All right, here's the, uh, what, this is four mil plastic. I believe it's four mil. Yeah, four mil plastic. Uh, these are hanging down low baggy because once I put this paneling up in here, it's going to tuck that in up into there nice and tight so this will be in place. It's just nothing to sample to because it's metal, you know. What I'm doing this plastic for is, I don't know if you can see, but when you breathe and you're something moist in here, you get condensation. And what I'm trying to do is create a vapor barrier, which will help stop that 
I'm not insulating it because I don't, I'm not going to live in here. I don't need to have it insulated. If it's winter and it's cold, we'll have that heat while we're driving. And then we'll have a small little 12 volt heater if we're somewhere where it's cold. If we're somewhere where it's cold and we need to warm up, we'll have a little 12 volt heater we can plug into those uh, accessory plugs. Because we're going to have a marine battery down here, which will run that all night long if we have to sleep. Other than that, um, the ceiling, I cannot... I got this side done too, behind me. Other than putting up the paneling right now is what I'm going to be doing next. Um, I think the floor will be the last thing I do because I want to get new carpet in here messed up. Um, uh, I, ca I cannot do the ceiling. I got wires hanging here that I'm going to be using for my ceiling fan over here and a, a vent over there. But I can't do that right now because we've got continuation of snow. And I don't have a garage to pull into to be able to work on this whenever necessary. So it's either you wait till you got a good day where there's no snow, or I'm going to have to wait till I got warmer weather because I'm going to have to put some uh, sealant adhesive on those uh, pieces on the ceiling so it doesn't leak. And I don't want it's got to be 45 degrees Fahrenheit or higher to be able to have that solvent um, work properly. Uh, so I'm not redoing it again. So I don't know how long it's going to take me to put that on. And then I do have to take that box out of the center yet. I got one screw I got to cut off. I got a couple bolts like that bolt I got to cut off. Cut that bolt off. So. I got a little bit of work I can do, but I was hoping to have this done in 30 days. But with the weather, I'm not working on it every day. I'm going to be stuck waiting till uh, warmer weather. What I can do though, I'm going to put these walls in. I'm going to get the electrical working on the walls so that the lights and everything work. I worry about the ceiling electrical when I get to that point. I think then I'll start working on the bed. Uh, the bed bench that's going to go right here. I think we'll, we'll work on that because I don't need carpet. I can build it. I won't attach it to the wall until I get the carpet down. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll build it so it's removable, put the carpet and everything down, the flooring, and then put the bed back in and secure it to the wall. So anyways, it's not been too bad. It's just with my back being the condition I have is hard to bend over. I'm sitting on this stool most of the time doing the work. And even then I'm bent over. It's not the, the greatest position. But thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't know if anybody out there has given us any likes on the videos. But give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. Helps us out to uh, reach our goal of being monetized. Uh, I know YouTube doesn't pay a whole lot to be monetized. But... I can't really do a full-time job right now. Anything kind of helps. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Have fun.